Hey everybody, got a new build for you today. This is a seven story apartment tower. It's primarily built with parts from the modern house, which is set number 31153. Uh, it takes two copies of that set and also uh, used a lot of parts from the Lego Queer Eye set, which is set 10291. Um, so those are the primary parts and the architecture is also inspired by the modern house. Now you will need quite a few extra parts such as panels, a few extra windows, and a lot of plates to uh, build the uh, modular floor system. The glass translucent pieces for the railings and balconies and lots of tiles. But these are all very basic parts that you can easily get for fairly cheap. And if you can get the uh, modern house sets on sale, uh, this is a pretty sizable modular that you can build for a pretty affordable price. So here's a close up of the architecture. Um, basically I use bricks for the corner pieces and the tiles that were used in the modern house on the facade on the front. Lots of uh, full pane glass panels and door frames for glass windows. Now the top floor and the penthouse along with the ground floor are several steps taller. Um, it just makes more sense as far as accommodating the uh, what's inside. And of course the penthouse has a little bit more luxury, so it's a little bit taller. So my goal here was to fit this building on one base plate because my city is running out of room. And so I'm trying to go up instead of uh, spreading out. And I think it looks great on one base plate. Uh, seven stories on a base plate looks pretty good. And I didn't want to like dwarf any other buildings in the city. So yeah, I think the portions look pretty good. So to do a quick overview of all the floors, we'll start with the first floor, which is the main entry and the uh, secure front door, which allows you know, residents only access. So you go through the front door there and you have the main entry there, usually a staff front desk. And then you have the amenities room, which includes a pool table, a uh, big screen TV, dartboard. So pretty simple. I just want to put something in there to show that it's the uh, common area for all the residents in the building to use. You also see the elevator over there in the uh, upper left, which serves all the floors, including the uh, very top floor where the pool is. Now you do have a window on the uh, left side, but it's not really accessible. There's going to be a building there in the future. And there's some bay windows on the uh, entryway there. Now here we go to the uh, second floor, which is a bedroom suite, which includes two beds, a bathroom, computer desk, dresser. So pretty basic, but uh, that is the main bedroom of the tower. And then I'll show a close up of the bathroom here. It's got a shower, a toilet, and a sink with a mirror. So now we go to the uh, third floor, which is mostly a living space. So as you can see, we have kind of some, a couch and a chair around a a rug, and then over you have a small kitchenette, refrigerator, sink, and a, a dining room set, and of course another elevator. So that's really it for the uh, third floor. And the fourth floor is a, a larger, a uh, little bit nicer bedroom suite. Um, it's got one single bed, a large computer workstation, uh, lots of drawers and clothing storage. Some of that came from the Queer Eye set. And then up here you have the, uh, the one of the penthouse floors, which is a little bit nicer. It's, uh, it's got the uh, also the queer I set sofa, uh, lounge, and a glass table. And this floor, I believe, yes, it has its own bathroom, so another, another toilet and sink. And then here you have the sixth floor, which is the top penthouse floor, which is the uh, full kitchen dining area. So you have the fridge, the wine cabinet. Uh, kind of a bar area, the stove and sink, and a nice large dining room table. And of course, another elevator. And this floor has a large wraparound deck instead of the smaller balconies like the other floors have. And finally, you have the uh, seventh floor, which includes the common space on the uh, left there. as a couch and a table, and I'm using the, uh, the chandelier light from the modern house. And then we have an infinity pool, which is, as you can see, the uh, railing is dropped down on one part of the pool there. So that's about it. So here's a view of the building as seen from the residential area. We'll kind of come around the corner here and uh, show the building, how it looks kind of with the shorter buildings. This area is kind of getting more built up as the sets get bigger, or the buildings get bigger. Now this was where the history museum was, or the natural history museum. They took up two base plates. Um, it's going to move into the other Lego city room and be across from the new Botanical Garden set near the amusement park. I think it's a better 
better place for that set. While this set, I think, looks better here. Um, the building's in a residential area. The balconies kind of overlook the harbor. And the construction site next door is going to be where the Avengers Tower is going to be. So this part of the city is getting a little bit more built up with taller buildings. So here's kind of a look of the whole residential area, showing how the new uh, condominium tower fits in with the hospital, the shorter buildings, the firehouse. And then I'll show you kind of the rest of the city here while I'm in here. The uh, harbor, the beach, the beach area is kind of being redone. I'm not sure if I've done a video on that recently, but uh, I did redo the beach area and the lighthouse. Um, and then the downtown area hasn't changed too much, but it's been uh, cleaned up a little bit since I've made a video last. And then of course we have the new train station here. Well, that's really it for this video. Um, I will have some more videos shortly in the uh, new Lego City room, which is going to include the park, the Botanical Gardens, and the amusement park and all that. But that'll do it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and like the new residential tower. And I'll be back hopefully within the next few days on some updates on the, uh, the new park area or the Botanical Gardens and National History Museum are going to be placed. So we'll see you in the next update.